Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited. I'm here in California at Gretsch RV, and I'm going to tell you all about the 2024 Strata Ion. Lots of new features for 24, so excited to share those, and then just to share this beautiful product. So such a high quality build, really um, nothing that I've seen that quite is up to the same level as the Strata in the B-Van environment. They just build such a quality product, luxurious. Mr. Gretsch has been doing custom built autos from lim stretch limousines to shuttle buses for over 40 years. So family owned, the fit, the finish, the quality, the craftsmanship um, is unmatched as far as I'm concerned. So I'm excited to show you that. Now, little um, assignment for you, because I do love to make these videos for you all to watch. I do hope that I provide you with some great information that you haven't found out there um, and shown it in a way that's interesting and valuable to you. But what I need you to do is when you're interested in looking at this B-Van, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We carry the Gretsch product at several of our locations. We have a fly-to-buy program. So if we're not actually right in your area, we'll get you to one of our locations where we have this beautiful product. So make sure you give us a call. So the very first time I saw a Gretsch product, a B-Van, um, the first thing I noticed was just look how sleek and beautiful it looks no cutouts that's what's amazing um, a lot of times when you're out shopping for vans you're going to see cut out cut out lots of different um, things especially on the driver's side they have none because it's all it's hidden below the stainless steel panel there um, anyway so pretty this is the gray white color you have four options in color so gray white iridium silver tenorite gray or the blue gray so right at the top of the van, you're gonna have your antenna. Then just below that, behind the rear view mirror, you're gonna have your camera. It's gonna help with your traffic sign assist, your active brake assist, and your lane keep assist. So all safety features that are keep going to keep you driving your van longer. Then you also have your um, rain sensing windshield wipers. So when it starts to rain, they're gonna automatically go on. Another cool thing about those windshield wipers is if you actually have the windshield wiper fluid in the wiper itself. So that saves on the amount of windshield wiper um, fluid that you use, which is really nice. Then we've got this beautiful color, the Mercedes emblem here. We've got our step up, which is really nice. Now right in the middle here, so if you need a step up, to clean the windshield, this is where you do it. Right in the middle of that, we've got the sensor for your adaptive cruise control right behind that panel. I wanna make sure I point out the beautiful LED high performance headlights, our cornering fog lights, and then you'll see these little circles along the front. Those are your parking assist. So you make sure you don't, you know, um, get a little too close when you're trying to park this. You'll see this little square right here, right be behind this, is the hook where if you ever needed to be towed out, that's where you would attach into. So hopefully you never need to do that. Now, another thing I didn't talk about is you'll notice this beautiful skirting um, around the entire Gretsch. So when the chassis comes from Mercedes, Gretsch brings it in. They add this full fiberglass skirting, which just gives it that really nice look. And then I'm gonna show you here shortly how that they attach it to the underside of the vehicle and they do that all with stainless steel. So um, very sturdy, very strong, just looks like it all came together. So underneath the hood, we've got big space here. That's typically where um, you might have seen a battery in the past. That battery is now underneath the driver's seat area. Over here, we've got our neg negative connection and behind here is our positive. So if you need to jump the van, that's where you'll do it. 
Uh, then we have our brake fluid. Another thing that you will notice is missing from here is the power steering fluid. It's because it's electric, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Isn't that nice? Then we have the windshield wiper fluid. We have the fill for our oil, and you'll have, there is no dipstick there, so you're gonna get that readout at the dash. And then we've got our coolant here, our engine air intake, and then we have the wick speed regulator that works in conjunction with the lithium ion batteries. Right outside, we have our DEF, which is our diesel exhaust fluid. Now this does have a shelf life, so uh, you just wanna make sure that you've always got fresh DEF in there, that you're you know, using your van when you fill it. Um, it lasts about, about a year, so look at your expiration on that when you're buying it. Um, also, don't keep it in the sun, it doesn't like heat either. So bad DEF can cause you to throw some you know, interesting um, engine codes and just causes issues. So make sure you're, you're aware of that. So all new for 2024, you get more horsepower and more torque. That's pretty great, right? So you went from 188 horsepower to 211 horsepower, and then your torque, which we know is a huge deal, you went from 325 to 332. So you get seven more foot pound of torque. You also went from a seven um, speed transmission to a nine speed transmission. So with this twin turbo diesel engine, you're going to really notice the difference. I love that Gretsch is able to put one of their chassis on a lift for me so I can show you how they start with the quality, you know, underneath the chassis all the way up to the very top of the, the van. So anything that Gretsch adds to the undercarriage of the van is supported by stainless steel. So what's great about that? First of all, super strong. Secondly, it's not gonna rust. So as I go around, I'll point those things out. Now, right here, we've got the 280 um, Nations alternator, which is going to allow you to charge those lithium ion batteries when you're at idle. Most B vans, you can't do that. So there's three ways that you can charge your lithium ion batteries. First of all, the first and best way to do it is by driving your van. Um, secondly, you can do it when you're plugged into your 30 amp shore power. Third, you can charge them from the solar panels. You've got 300 watts solar panels on this coach. And then, like I said before, you can also do it at Ida, which is a big deal. So if you're out um, off the grid, which is what you know people love to do in these with the ion, um, lithium ion batteries, you can just simply turn on your coach, let it idle, and you're good to go. So you'll see right here, Gretsch gives us a nice, a bigger step on both the captain and co-captain side of the van. So that step and that fiberglass is supported by the stainless steel. So super strong, which then again makes the fiberglass super strong. Then we have the extra step, powered step that comes out from the sliding door on the passenger side, which is very strong. You see that doesn't move, fiberglass doesn't move, all supported by that stainless steel. And we've got the same thing on this side for the driver's side step, which is really nice to have that bigger step when you get in and out of your van. Then as you move back, you're gonna see your fresh water tank here. So we have a 26 gallon fresh water tank supported by the stainless steel. And this isn't your regular Rotocast um, fresh water tank. This is 3D printed. So that means it's an exact um, thickness all the way around, stronger, much stronger than your typical Rotocast um, tank. And then you'll see that it's got a heat pad on it. That's really nice. There's a button inside on your FireFi system that as long as you have that on, then this will kind of work automatically. If it gets too cold, it senses that it's too cold, it will turn it on and then turn it off when it's at the right temperature. So you don't have to worry about it or think about it again, as long as you've got that button on inside. Then you'll just notice here, we've got the heat pad on our gray tank as well. Gray tank is 27 gallons. Um, on the Strata Ion, and then your black tank is 13. Um, again, we've got that heat pad that works the same as it did on your freshwater tank. And you'll notice that we get the three inch piping that's going from our gray tank um, to our dump. And on the Strata, you also get the macerator, macerator for your black tank, and it's on an auto reel. 
So you can see the auto reel here for your macerator. And then just behind that, Gretsch also insulates. So they insulate their hot and cold point uh, lines. So you can see those are insulated here. They also insulate in between, like here we've got our piping for our gray tank. They insulate from, this is your exhaust that they reroute here because we've got the air suspension. So they don't want that to get too hot. They've got the pad there. They also have the pad here, so that doesn't get too hot. And then if you look underneath this whole chassis, you're not gonna see any hanging um, wires, nothing's dangling. Everything is zip tied or loomed up where it's supposed to be, it's great. You get the dual wheels on the Strata and then just behind them, we've got the Kelderman air suspension. So it's an auto adjustable air suspension, so you don't have to do anything. The van will do it automatically for you. Get the alloy wheels with the Strata. Now a little uh, secret, if you wanna know if it's all wheel drive or two wheel drive, super easy. If it's black, the wheel's black, it's all wheel drive. If it's chrome, it's two wheel drive. So I love those little cheats. Then we have our side view mirrors. Those are internally controlled and heated. You also have your camera in there. So when you turn on your blinkers, you're gonna be able to see down the side of the van. And we've got our turn signal in there as well. Again, notice just the beautiful pink color, the stainless steel trim. I love that it says Gretsch. Um, Ed Gretsch is very, um, particular and so if it's going to have his name on it it's going to be quality so they literally build quality and throughout the process if you want to see more about that process um, their quality inspections their their water test um, go check out my Gretsch factory tour video because that will give you all that information uh, I think you'll really enjoy it speaking of quality one of the things that I really notice um, when I'm in a Gretsch van is just the difference of the fit and finish. So a really great example of that is the um, step here. So Gretsch has been making sh luxury sh shuttle buses for a long time. Those get used by thousands and thousands of people in and out, in and out. And they do the same entry step as they do on their shuttle buses. So we have the aluminum extruded trim here, the non-skid, and then you have the woven vinyl flooring, which is pretty much waterproof. So if I just pour a little bit of water or say it's tomato juice, you see it just, it's gonna just sit there. It doesn't soak in. I can move it around or I can just swish it right outside the van. It's no problem, really easy. And then just look at the way they finish out their step too. We've got the nice little um, stainless steel plate here. Right behind the passenger seat, we have the CO2 alarm, and then we have our fire extinguisher. Make sure you go and check out my video on Protang, a fire suppression system. Um, I definitely recommend it for B vans, for all RVs. You can get a custom quote from National Indoor RV Centers today. Now, if you're off the grid and you're up enjoying the beautiful mountains and you wanna enjoy that beautiful scent of the pine trees, but with no bucks, all you have to do is just simply pull your screen door shut and there it is nice and clean easy to use bring it back and forth no problem and no bugs you can extend and retract your awning right here from the firefly system so i can just extend it all the way or retract it now just a little awning safety tip I never use my awning if I'm not outside by the van. Um, I just think there's lots of states and areas where a wind gust can come up and really just, you know, wreak havoc with your awning. So word to the wise, if you're using your awning, make sure you're outside the van and in the, um, you know, right there in that area. So if the wind does change, you're there to bring it in. There is a sensor on it, but again, I just like to play it a little bit safe. Also, we can turn our lights on and off from here. And they are dimmable. So if this is a little bright for you at night, you can dim them, make that a little bit softer. Along with the awning light, you can also turn on and off the porch light from here. And that is another light that's dimmable. So we have the power door on the Strata. Just pull out the handle and it's gonna go ahead and shut. Now, Gretsch makes these so airtight that sometime 
there'll be just a little bit of a lip here when it shuts and that's because it's kind of airtight inside. So to create some room for it, you can either open up the front doors or a vent and then just shut it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So now you see it's shut nice and tight. You shouldn't try to slam it shut here. If it doesn't do that, just make sure you open a door. Our engine exhaust, dual wheels, and then again, we've got more of the stainless steel. We've got a little compartment here. Love that Gretsch gives us a little hook that will hold that in place. Behind this door, you've got your two 110 outlets, your cable outlet, and then this is a air suspension, basically where I can take air out of the rear suspension there. So if you need to do that for storing your van, you can do that right there. So here at the back of the van, we have our rear view camera and then our high brake light. We've got the brake lights here on the side. And then we've got the little circles here again in the back. Those are our parking assist. Behind this, you can just unscrew that. Uh, you've got your hitch. So if you wanna tow something, you can easily do that. You've got a 5,000 um, pound hitch here. So if you wanna take jet skis, um, you know, a four by four or a small car, you can easily do that with the Strata. Now I've opened up the door so you can see the back of the Strata. We've got the little owner's manuals here, everything we need to know. And then we've got the shower hose for our external shower, our 30 amp shore power cord. And over here, we've got the Xantrex 3000 watt inverter. Then if you just lift up the cover here, you can see we've got a little compartment. So the disconnect for our inverter switch is right here. If we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at all of our locations, always plugged in, indoors, so you don't have to worry about your batteries, you need to make sure when you store your van that you're turning off your all your power to your inverter and to your batteries so that you don't have any parasitic drop. And speaking of your lithium ion batteries, they're right back here. Now you get 1260 amp hours with the lithium ion batteries. So when they're fully charged, that means you go about 12 hours running your AC unit just off your batteries if that's all you're using. Like your cell phone, how long they last is how much power you're using in your van. I also wanted you to see that you have quite a bit of storage back here. And even I've seen people hang things with Velcro off the back of this if they need to use every little bit of space. You also have D-rings on both sides. So if there's something that you need to secure into this back area, you can totally do that. Now, the other thing, remember that whole you're in the mountains and you wanna feel, smell that fresh air? Well, now I wanna do it um, while I'm sleeping. I want a screened in porch, or I can do this during the day as well. But I'm just gonna to go to the app on my phone and I'm gonna bring down the rear power shade. How about that? Power no less, is that awesome? So now I've got my power shade down, totally enjoying the outdoors from inside. And then I'm going to, let's say that you're sleeping, you wanna have a little bit more of a blackout, you wanna make it dark. You're just gonna go ahead and go to your rear doors and bring down your blackout shade. And you'll notice that it's white on this side. It's the dark charcoal color on the other side. But what's great about this is that it has dual purpose. So not only is your blackout shade, it's a huge um, outdoor movie screen. So bring your projector, set it up for your crew. You can have movie night right outside the van. As I come around the corner, again, notice the nice, big, huge windows, beautiful, sleek lines, no cutouts. That's what we're getting to next. So on just about every other B van, the utility bay, wet bay is down here and it's kind of you know, inconvenient, not very easy to get to. But with Gretsch, it's right behind this panel here, so it's hidden. So I'm just gonna go ahead and light the compartment, which makes it really easy to see. If you have to do some of the dirty work at night, it's really easy. Right here, we've got the potable water fill. So if you're dry camping, which is 
what these bands are meant to do and you need to add water, this is where you'll do it. You can also sanitize the tank from here as well. Our city water connection. And then we've got the hot and cold for our external shower. We'll just plug the shower hose in here. Then this is one of those features that I love. On the Strata, you do get the um, macerators. So down below here, we have the um, hose for the macerator and it's an auto reel. So you can just take that right back. Then we've got the waste pump. We can turn it on and off here. We've got our gray tank valve and our black tank valve and our cable in and then our input here for our 30 amp shore power cord. Underneath this door, we've got our sewer outlet connection and then our black tank flush here. Here is the exhaust for your Timberline system, which is your on-demand hot water and your heater for the coach when you drop below 40 degrees. So check out the big, huge windows. I just love that. You can enjoy the outdoors from inside your van. And then I love that Gretsch gives you a window in your bathroom. So the bathrooms are fairly small in a B van. That window, and it's a good size window, just makes it feel that much bigger inside the bathroom. So then as I get to the driver's door, you're gonna note you've got another nice step up into the van and right inside the door, you're gonna have the fuel fill for your 24 gallon diesel fuel tank. All right, you ready to go check out the inside? Follow me. Welcome to the interior of the Strata Ion lounge floor plan. Now this will seat nine people. You're gonna love the soft ultra leather. Um, you'll notice that Gretsch even puts that on their captains and co-captain seats. We've got the vinyl touch soft ceiling, um, just quality throughout the cabinets. You have the option for the light cabinets or the dark cabinets. You're gonna see at any corner, any juncture, they've got the aluminum extruded uh, uh, ends that are powder coated so it just blends nicely with the cabinet which these are the Swiss chrono ca uh, hardwood cabinets it's just beautiful luxury from the minute you walk in this van I absolutely loved it I love the light cabinets I think it makes it look really nice and airy and feels a little bit bigger um, note that there's insulation throughout the van so the insulated roof sidewalls they even take out the headliner and insulate that and then put it back in so you're going to be able to keep this van cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter so if you're lucky enough to be a traveler in this b van you can watch tv while you're going down the road you just have to use a wireless headphones so that you don't distract the tv doesn't distract the driver while you're going down the road this is the 24 inch um, smart tv and then we've got storage right off to the side of it here. We've got great hinges, nice and strong. Then inside here, we have our solar charge controller that will let us know what amps we're bringing in from the solar panels along with a USB charging port. Right next to that, we've got our Timberline system. So that is for your on-demand hot water and your furnace once you, you know, basically are below 40 degrees. So you've got two burners. You've got your diesel burner and your electric. This will only work when you're plugged into shore power. So you can just turn that on easily and then set your temperature and you can just hear it lightly turn on. If you are ready to take a shower and you want more efficient hot water, on-demand hot water, you'll have it for 30 minutes right there. You can just turn that on, turn it off. You've also got your controls here for your display sleep mode, fan speed, your clock, service information, and your limitation of heating duration. So right now, I can say that I want it to be warm for one day, or I can do it infinity. I want that on all the time, or I can take that down to just the hours. So you can set that and easily um, decide what you want there. Then we have next to this, the over-the-air antenna, so you can turn that on, so you can pick up local stations. Otherwise, you'll just be getting it through your uh, satellite provider or cable co provider, your TV cable input, and our Sony DVD Blu-ray player. Then we can also, um, we're pre-wired for a satellite system, if you wanna add that here, but nice compartment. 
And then we have a nice big storage compartment here. You've got your wireless headset here for the TV. This is for your awning. And then a nice big compartment here for storage. So here I am in the living room of the lounge floor plan. So we've got the four seats here, turned around the captain, co-captain's chairs. Again, just wanna say how comfy these are and then beautiful because Gretsch matches the fabric. Then we've got our two seats here. Now these are both approved for uh, child um, car seats if you need them. They've got the child tethers. So that's a nice feature. Then over here we've got the cup holders for two and two USB charging ports. And a nice little lit storage area below. Now down in the corners, right by the entry door, and here at the corner we've got two D-rings. So if we wanna bring anything along that we need a tether, we can do it with those D-rings there. So right underneath our cabinet, we do have a reading light and it's directional, so you can point that light whatever, wherever you need it. And another bonus that I absolutely love is you've got the power shades for your windows throughout the coach here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my app here, take the sh shades down, and I can do, I've got a master shade button too, so I can do them all at once, take them all down, bring them all up. So when it's time for bed, I can easily lock out the van, super easy. So here we have the spot where we can put a table in for if we want to dine here or if you want to work here and have this your workstation. So I've got the leg to the table right here. You've got this that you just thread into this little spot right there. And then you just start to turn it right. So just turn it until it's nice and tight. It's not going to rattle or move. To take it out, you're just going to push this button here and then you'll be able to pull that out. And then you just take your tabletop, super easy, just set it on top. And then you can just move that table to where, you know, if this, you want this to be your workspace for the day, I kind of like this. I'm looking out the side door. I can see the beautiful view of wherever I'm camping. So I love that option. Then when it's time to put your table away, you just take it off and you've got a great place to store it right here. So just turn it. And I do love that they have that nice little spot there. It's carpeted, so it's not gonna rattle or move when you're traveling. So here's our Firefly system for the coach. I absolutely love this. You can download this app to your phone so that you can perform most of the functions that you can do here from the pad on your phone. So you just go to the mobile app here. You're gonna download the Mira app and then scan this put in your pin number and you can also reset that change the pin number if you want but then you're able to do it all from your phone so from the home page you can make your bed up so you can take your ottomans um, extend them and the sofa down to make your 66 by 73 inch bed then we've got the master light switch so all lights on all lights off we've got the switch for our awnings to extend and retract then you can see the levels of your tanks so your fresh tank your freshwater tank, gray and black. Your water pump, you can turn it on and off here. And then you have your tank heaters. So this is the button that you have to have turned on for the tank heaters for your freshwater tank and your gray tank to turn on automatically. If that's not on, they won't work. And then we've got the level of our house batteries, which is 13.3 uh, volts. Then we go down to our light page. So this is going to give you each individual individual light that you can turn on and off, and then your master light. Um, one of the lights that I absolutely love are our ceiling accents. So you get that little blue light. I think that's NIRVC blue. Of course it is. I mean, what else would it be for? Plus, it just looks very luxurious and super nice. And then they also have the accent lighting, which is just a little bit more beautiful. So underneath the countertop and looks awesome. So you can see that difference there and you can dim those lights, make them a little bit softer if you want to. Anytime you see those arrows, it's a dimmable light. Then we're gonna to go to our electrical settings. Right here, it's gonna tell you your power source. So we are right now um, not plugged in. So we're getting our source, our power from the inverter. You can see our house battery level. It's going down to the inverter and the breaker box. 
or inverter is enabled, um, charger is not charging. And then if you want to dive a little bit deeper, you can go into your charger here, get a lot more information, and you can actually watch some videos from Gretsch itself that really um, dig into this panel here and more. Then we've got our climate control panel. So this is exciting this year. Um, normally AC is always exciting, especially when it's hot outside, <laughs> um, but game changer for 2024 because no longer is Gretsch using the Dometic 13.5 BTU AC unit. They now have the EcoCool Gree 15,000 BTU plus heat pump. So a little added bonus there. And it's super quiet. You're not going to believe it. To prove how quiet this AC unit is, I put the decibel reader on it 52.1. I've got the AC blowing. We're right next to the vent and it's so quiet. You are not gonna have a problem sleeping, having a conversation, watching a movie with the AC running. All right, so now I'm in the old 2023 unit with the Dometic AC unit on the same setting. And you can see it's 70, much louder, much, much louder than the new system in the 24s. All right, so AC unit is on. And can you believe how quiet it is? See, my hair's moving. <laughs> so quiet. Then there's another cool feature too. They have the vent swing. So you can see how the vents are coming straight out right now. If I go ahead and hit the vent swing on, they're gonna go down and then back up. So they're kind of gonna move the flow of the of the air, which is nice depending on where your guests are sitting, where you where you want that flow, or you can lock it in any position. So if I wanna lock it right there it will just stay right there. If I want to keep those vents coming down, um, or I can just go back to the swing position and it will just go back and forth. This is where we can turn on the heat element from the GRI, and then we can do the fan speed here. We put it in auto mode. Here's our front vent and our fan, so we can open, close it, power it, select the speed of it. And it also has the rain sensor, so if you've got that open and it starts to rain, it's gonna automatically close it. Next up are the shades. Okay, this is another game changer for Gretsch because power shades, so it's bedtime. All I have to do is hit the shade master and look at this. Ready for bed. Nice and easy, simple. I mean, Gretsch just knows how to do it right. You can do each window individually, and then you've got the power screen for the rear. If you want to put that down, you can do that right there. Then we're to back to our settings page, so we can do our brightness, our auto dimming, cleaning mode, gives you the temperature, you can set the time, uh, the floor plan. So basically you can you know customize your panel from this screen here. Here's the battery disconnect for your house battery. So you wanna make sure you turn that off, especially if you're storing your coach. Then we've got our step on and on and off button. Now this, you wanna make sure once you get to your resort or camping spot that your step is extended. Once it's extended, go ahead and turn it off right here. That will keep your step extended out and won't come in and out every time you open your door. Now, when you go to leave and you turn on your ignition, if your step is still out, you're gonna get a visible red button and an audible sound letting you know that step is out. You've gotta come over, turn your step back on so that when you close the door, the step will come in. So now to the kitchen, the little galley here. One of the things that I like are the radius walls that we get, which just makes, you know, it gives you that little bit of extra space, makes it feel bigger. And then I love the solid surface countertop, the farm sink. So if we're not using the sink, that gives you that extra prep area. Then we've got the dual burner induction cooktop. Below that, nice size drawer. Another one in the center there. And then we've got our little flip down here. Now below the flip down, we've got another favorite of mine. So microwave, convection oven, and air fryer. So you don't have to bring those extra items there. And then a great drawer just below that. Next we have the refrigerator, nice size refrigerator with different sections and the freezer. 
And then our nice little ice maker there, old school cubes, I love them. So under the cabinets, we've got the two 110 outlets and our lights. We can even add another little reading light there on either end and make those directional. And then we've got our cabinet space above. I do love that you've got the locking compartments there. So I'm just gonna open them all up. I'm just gonna go all the way down here. Look at all that storage. Again, you've got the aluminum extruded edge here, powder coated so it matches the wood, and then all cabinets are backed into steel, so they're not gonna move, they're super strong. I could hang on these. So you can see we have great storage space here, but it's pretty dark, right? So let me show you what's up next. Go back to our panel. We're gonna hit the cabinet lights. Game changer, right? Now you can see everything easily in your storage areas. So it's finally time for all of our favorites, the bathroom. <laughs> Needs to be, right? So one of the things that I do love about Gretchen's bathroom, they give us this nice big mirror on the door. I love that because not only can you use it, use it if you're in the bathroom, but I could actually have my makeup here on the countertop, do it right here. I have natural lighting, which is really nice. Love that they give us a towel hook here, and we can even use this as another towel hook, which I love. And then we step inside. All right, so not that I'm vain or anything, but they've given us another mirror. <laughs> but this is great. I could be doing my makeup outside. My husband can be in here shaving. So it just gives you nice little options, and then that securely fits back into the sidewall, so it's not gonna move around when you're traveling. Then we've got our sink here and our nice faucet. Now we're gonna take our faucet for our sink, pull it up here, and we've got our shower head and handheld wand, whatever you need it for. So that's really easy to use. And then we've got the big window, which I've already told you I love. This does have a manual shade on it, so you can make sure you have the privacy that you need and then Little, little light if you would like that as well. Now here behind the commode, we have the clothesline. So you can just pull that out, stretch it across, and then you've got the clothesline if you've got wet swimsuits or if you've done some wash and you just wanna let it air dry, super easy to do. And then it just goes right back in when you're done. Now you do have a shower curtain. There's a little clip for it back here, so I can shut the door, put the shower curtain up, and have complete privacy here, and still have a little airflow if I, if I don't want to shut the door too. We also have a nice vent here as well, again, for that extra airflow here. Then we have the commode here, our drain for the shower, and our toilet paper holder. So now I'm in the back here, officially the bedroom of the lounge. I'm obviously not made up as a bed right now, but I do want to point out that from the Firefly tablet, you know, I can lean this sofa back a little bit, kick my feet up on the, the side chairs here. I also can just bring the sofa down and I can make like two twin beds with an aisle in between them if I wanna have access to the bathroom easily at night. So just some options I'll kind of show you. But I do just love how comfortable this is super soft ultra leather so you can have nine safely seat belted in this b van that's a lot so one two three four five and then six seven eight nine up front love that and then the two um chairs behind the captain co captain they have the ch the child seat tethers so that makes it a great option if you're taking your family young kids along with you now while you're back here you've got the two 110 outlets plus the USB-C and the USB charging port, cup holder, and then you've got the same over here, two 110 USB-C, USB, -C, USB uh, outlet, and the cup holder. Right here, we've got the spot where we can add our lagoon table, which we've got stored here. So we're just going to Pull that out. So we'll take off the leg here. Now, right here, you're gonna see this little black, it's actually a magnet. 
and there's another one down here. So what that does is that locks out the ability for this to bring it out. So we've all made that mistake <laughs> where we're do moving something that shouldn't be moved. So when the table is in, that will, we want to make sure those magnets just line up and then tighten that leg in there. Now this will not power it out. And then we just put the table in. So now that we've got it in, we can move that table around, put it in the center, bring it back to the side. Just tons of options and it's super easy. Here is the rest of the storage. So nice storage compartment. Again, just to finish out, it's great, lit. Another great compartment here. And I know I've said things before, but just notice the finish out the window seals. We've got the honeycomb in the wall for extra insulation. They just finish it out so nicely. And then we have our huge compartment here in the back. Two 110 outlets over here to the right. Here's your speaker switch to turn it on and off. And your speakers are right here underneath the cabinet. Underneath the passenger's chair, this really is not a storage compartment. They remind us of this. This is the pin readout, the brains for the fly Firefly system. We have the sea level tank monitor system readout, and then we've got the cutoffs for the lithionic batteries. Here on the driver's side chair, we've got another compartment that is not storage. We've got the breaker box and fuse panel along with the disconnect for the house batteries, but you don't want to do it here. You want to do it at the panel up when you first get in. And then this is a, um, the bleed fuses. So here's the 24 inch TV for the back area and sound bar. Then if you want to redirect the, you know, the picture a little bit, you just need to release that there. And then you can adjust, you know, pull it out for the best viewing position. And then it just locks right back into place so it's not gonna move around when you're traveling. Above that, we've got our second Firefly panel. So this is probably what you're gonna to use to make your bed at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring down the sofa at first so you can see kind of the twin bed setup. So this is really nice if there's two of you, you want to leave a little walking space in the center, you can leave those like that, or you can go ahead and extend the ottomans. Once your ottomans are extended, then you're going to take your back cushion. This is another thing I love that Gretsch does. It's not Velcroed, it's not snapped. It actually has an aluminum, aluminum fitting here and along the wall that that slides right into. When I go ahead and make my bed, just push it into the spots there. Do the same over here. I can slide it out or just lift it out and then push. Now I've got my nice big bed, watch TV from. Also can do a little light reading, our reading lights and those are directional as well. And then here in the very back of the bed, I've got cubbies. I've got USB charging ports on both sides and some cubbies. And then you can take out these little side cushions if you want. You can go ahead and put them up top, make it a pillow, <laughs> whatever you want. But you can see that this, this is a nice big roomy bed. Just to quickly mention again, this is the app, the Mira app that you download for the Firefly system, and then you can scan this for your lithionic battery system for support if you need it. Now I've downloaded the lithionics app on my phone. You just hit the discover button at the bottom. It will find this unit and then it's going to let you know what your battery life is. So right now we are 91% charged. Um, you can see what the voltage is 13.27, uh, our power, the state is on and you can see the little green, like almost like a heartbeat. And then 
with the power that we're using as of right now, I've got two days and 23 hours left. If you want a little bit more detailed information, you can slide to your right and get more detailed information, or you can click on any of these buttons for extra information. Just above the Firefly panel, we have the smoke detector for the van. In the tour floor plan of the Strata Ion, you're going to gain a lot of storage. So a huge wardrobe or full length pantry, however you wanna use that, bigger refrigerator and freezer. Then you've got the long galley, extra counter space in the kitchen, along with two huge cabinets for storage underneath the sink. And then you get two bigger drawers below your convection microwave air fryer. So we're finally to the cockpit before we get started with everything up here. Just want to let you know that below this panel here are our fuses for the front of the coach. And then we've got the lumbar support button so I can adjust that to make it perfect for myself. On the door here, so we have a nice little pocket there that we can pull the door shut with. It's nice. And then our window controls up and down and then our external mirror controls. So just click into the mirror you want to adjust and then adjust it. Then we've got our handle to open the door. Now this is our memory settings for our front captain seat, which I love. So you're gonna have driver one, driver two, and then I recommend driver three actually being the position that you want the chair in when you want to rotate it into the living room. So you wanna get your seat to where it's just perfect so you can adjust the backrest up and back and then forward. So now you've got it just right for where you wanna drive. So then you're gonna go ahead and hold the M button and then the driver, you're gonna hear a little beep and that will set it. Um, then if I want to go, say driver two gets in, they're going to hit driver two and the seat will automatically adjust to where they want it. So nice. We've got our heated seat option here and then the unlock and lock. Nice compartment for storage, hold another drink and then more storage below. So below our nice rubber mats, we have where the battery is located and then you just click your mats in there so they stay in place. And then we've got the handle here to pop the front hood. Then we go up here, we have our lights. So we can keep them in auto mode, our running lights or our headlights. Then we've got our fog lights. And then this is to adjust the dim and brightness of your dash. Here's our turn signal. So we're gonna push that up and you'll be able to see down the side of the van, nice and clear camera there. And then the other direction, this is also our windshield wiper. So got the windshield wipers going. And then if I press the windshield wiper fluid, you can see that comes out straight from the windshield wiper itself, which is really cool. Love that. Also in here, we can just pull back to flash our headlights. On either side of the steering column, we can manually shift here. So if we need to downshift or if we need to upshift, We'll do that right here. So here's our transmission shifter. So up for reverse, down for drive, and then in for park and center is neutral. Now to everything on the steering column itself. So we can just go to our home button here. That's gonna give us trip information and we can scroll through that information. This is sort of like the mouse for our front dash screen. So scroll in. And let's go ahead and click into service. So I can see I have no messages, but if I wanna go down, click in, it's gonna give me my def level. And then I can go back. Assist plus, this needs service in 706 days. Oil level, I don't have the fan on, so it's not gonna give me that, but it will give me a reading while I'm driving. Particulate filter. So this is gonna let me know how soon I need to burn that off. So I can click into each one of these options. I've got drive assist up next, and then my trip information, nav system. All this will also be available on my big screen over here. But I can just look at my trip information. Um, 
scroll through that. So lots of information right at your fingertips while you're driving if you need it. You just scroll through, navigation, radio controls, media, phone, and your settings. You can change the sensors on your rain sensing windshield wipers. Just very easy. Then we've got our cruise control. So we're gonna push this button on and off. Once it's on, then you can set it from here and you can resume or cancel. You can also increase the speed or decrease the speed. And this is going to be follow distance for your adaptive cruise control. Obviously we have our horn here in the center and then we've got another home page. This is going to control this whole screen here. So if you want to work off this screen, you can control it right here. There's your mouse. Click into each of those. Again, right from your fingertips. Then you've got your voice assist. This is your on guard system, volume control, and then you can answer a call or hang up a call. At the bottom of the steering column, we've got the lever so you can adjust that to the right position. Just lock it into place. We've got our ignition here. So all you need to do is have your fob in a reasonable distance from the ignition. You're going to put your foot on the brake and then push the button, start your engine. Now right here, you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the engine. Stop the engine by putting my foot on the brake and pushing the button again. But you saw the, the red light plus the audible sound that my step was out. So that's on the patio door side. The step was extended, so that's just your little reminder. Make sure you bring that in. So here's our control panel. This is so great. You saw how I could control that from over here, but now I can do it just by touch. So I can scroll through whatever I need to get to really easily with my fingertips. Now let's say I wanna have my navigation up first. I'm just gonna hold that and pull it. I'm gonna check it. Now that's gonna come up first because that's a button I use regularly. And I can do that with any of those. So you can customize the screen and where those items fall. So this is where you can connect your phone, Bluetooth it in, radio controls, MIDI controls, information on your engine, on your consumption, Operator's manual. This is where you can add apps. And then here we have our settings. So lots of different information in here. We can go to assistance and we can set up our traffic sign assist here. Do we want that on? Do we want to turn it off? Active lane keep on off. Active brake assist. Do you want to early, medium, late, or do you want to turn it off? So all these safety fu function you can go through and adjust. You've got your attention um, assist. So if you're not driving very attentively, if you're weaving in and out of your lane a little bit, the vehicle will notice that and send you a little alert, maybe to stop and get a coffee, pull over. Anyway, just one of those things to help keep you safe. Then you've got your blind spot assist. You can go into your vehicle lights, system. So a lot of things that you can look through here and learn about your van. Just below your screen, you've got your button for your camera. And then you can put your navs up. These are basically your quick buttons. Telephone, radio, volume controls, back to your home. This is where you commute the radio. And if you hold it, you can turn off the power to this. Then you've got another quick button here to your quick access. And here's your seek for your audio source. Just below that, you've got the control for your AC and your fan, auto, AC, where you wanna direct that airflow, your hazards, max fan, recirculate the air, and then your rear defrost. Cup holders 
and then the lock and unlock button for your side door. Just below the cup holders, we have a 12 volt receptacle here and then a USB-C port. And then right below that, you're gonna find a little opening there. That is where if your uh, key fob is not responding, this is where you can kind of reset it. You just push it in there to reset that. So just above the driver, we've got a hook here, great place for a cap or a jacket. I've got a grab bar here, storage above, sun visor. I have the same on the passenger side and then another hook plus the door, the button so I can open and shut the side sliding door. We also have more storage right here, cup holder, more storage. In the center here we have a wireless charging pad, we've got 12 volt receptacle, uh, input here for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and then we have two USB-C charging ports. Then we've got another cup holder and another storage cubby and another storage cubby and then I also wanted to show you on the seat here's the lever that you just pull so that you can turn the chair into the living room area. Right below here is where your jack is. Hopefully you never need that. <laughs> Then you have the same memory controlled seats over on the driver's side as well. You have a spot for sunglasses here. And then if you are in an emergency, you need help, you can push that and then you can push that button there. If you need technical assistance, you'll push here. Then this is our reading light for the driver, reading light for the passenger. Now this is a light that determines whether your light comes on when your van doors are open or closed. I've got it off right now. So if I turn it on, since my doors are open, it's gonna turn on. This is my light here. So if I need some bright light while I'm driving, I can quickly hit that and just turn that on. This is a rear switch that um, doesn't work because we, we haven't hooked it up. So I went ahead and put up the front shade and the side. I just wanna show you they come there, just kind of accordion together. Super easy, there's magnets on these. So just put the dark side out and they basically clip right into place. And then I like to shut the door so I have a nice good seal and you can totally black out the van. All right, so we're ready to take the Strata Ion out for a test drive. I'm really excited because we've got the new chassis, um, more horsepower, so let's see how it handles. So when I put my blinker on, you can see down the full right side of the van. This is also going to be really helpful when I go to change lanes. Just that extra little help can't hurt, right? All right, so now I'm on a road where I can kind of gun it a little bit. Man, lots of power. You can definitely feel the difference from last year. And smooth, quiet. I'm going 50 miles an hour. I've got the AC on and this is super quiet. Like I said, I've got the front dash AC on, the rear AC on, and I'm going down the road and it's 63.3. I'm really impressed. I love how quiet it is. And my guests are gonna be comfortable in the back too with that AC running, if I need to run it. So obviously with Mercedes, you're gonna get a great chassis, a great ride. You also get the safety features. So I have the active lane assist. So if I decide to try to change lanes, without putting my blinker on. I definitely have a haptic and it kind of grabs. I can feel that there's um, some tension if I'm trying to go across the lane without putting my blinker on. We also have the traffic sign assist. So it's reading the traffic signs. We've got the adaptive cruise control. So once I get up to speed, set my cruise control, I can just totally enjoy the ride and enjoy the beautiful countryside. So the grudge quality is unmatched from watching them be built at the factory. You can see how many times they inspect these, at least three QC inspections, and they do that throughout the build. They do the, the, wet, the water bay test um, where they take out the headliner. They've got someone in the coach uh, with the flashlight as they put it through this, you know, basically a rainstorm um, for a couple hours to make sure there's no water intrusion and then they do an extensive road, road test before it ships out to the dealer. So 
you're just going to feel really comfortable with your Gretsch purchase. Um, so it's important that you're buying quality. So what is stopping you from coming to National Indoor RV Centers and taking one of these out for a test drive today? Or just plan for it. Give us a call. We'll set an appointment. Um, remember, we have the Fly to Buy program. So if we're not in your area, you can come to us and uh, we will pay for your flight up to $500 for two of you to fly one way to pick up your coach. So I'm sure you're wondering how much this awesome B van will cost. Well, current MSRP is $269.9. If you want to know what I can sell you this coach for, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We are happy to help you with our volume and economies of scale. RV simply costs less at National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my Pro Tank video, my RV in 101, and our AIM Club, All-Inclusive Motorhome Club. We have lots of fun. I'd love to see you and get to meet you in person. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.